Hello, welcome one, welcome all. Welcome to Dark Dragon Does Math. The best show in town. Probably. Maybe not. Um, we're subtracting integers. Um, all we have to do here is learn subtracting, but this time we're, we're going to throw in subtracting negative numbers. And when we subtract, we're sometimes going to subtract numbers that are larger than what we subtracted from. But I promise uh, by the end of it, I'm going to do my awesomest to make it obvious and easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we have 10 minus 25. Okay, so obviously 25 is more than 10. Um, honestly, this is the same question as this right here. Okay, which we just learned how to do. It's just now we've made the plus sign disappear because honestly, we don't need to know. It's understood that it's there. This is the same thing. Subtracting 25 is the same thing as adding a negative 25. And that's something that we need to understand. Um, so when I do a problem like this, I take the larger number regardless of what sign it was, and I subtract the smaller number. Because my brain works really well when I subtract small numbers from bigger numbers. So that is 15. So now I'm not done because I need to check, oh yeah, the bigger number was negative. So let's go ahead and add a negative to, a negative to it, and everybody is happy. Okay, simple enough. Um, let's do a word problem. A uh, diver went 24 feet below the surface of the ocean, so right now she's below the surface, so I'm going to say negative 24, um, and then 47 feet lower, so she went down another 47 feet. Um, down, we're going to associate with negative pretty much all chapter. Uh, what is the diver's new position relative to the surface? So if uh, the surface was here, she started negative 27, and then she went down negative 47 more. Uh, that's, that's plus a negative 47. So we're not actually at negative 47 right now. We are negative 24 down 47 more. So really, since both of these are negative, what's kind of nice is we can just add them together like normal. Um, and then our final answer is going to be a negative. So 7 plus 4, okay, that's 11. Carry your 1. 3, 7, 71. So she's negative 71 feet below the surface. All right. Got to practice all you. You're going to do great. Um, okay, so we have these problems right here. Notice that this is subtracting a negative number, okay? So I'm going to tell you something right off the bat. Think of, think of it like this. Um, negatives are just opposites of positive numbers, right? So if I am going to find the negative of a negative, that's like finding the opposite of an opposite. Uh, so say, uh, let's work with up and down. So up is positive down is negative. Alright, so the opposite of the opposite of up, so here's up, the opposite down of the opposite is just up again. And I hope that makes sense because really what this is is just a fancy way of saying 32 plus 8. Anytime you see the negative, negative a negative of a negative is a positive, okay? I'm going to say that to you so much you're going to get sick, but I want you to remember a negative of a negative is a... And I'm going to pause, and you guys are going to say positive, and I'm going to be so happy for you. So negative of a negative is a positive. 32 plus 8 is 40, and that's it. We're done. Yay. This one, I always rewrite them right underneath. Negative of a negative is a positive, and then it becomes a much simpler problem. Uh, I'm going to subtract the bigger one from the smaller one, or the smaller one from the bigger one, rather. 21 minus 15. Um, okay, so let's think that is uh, 6. And it's positive because the bigger number was positive to begin with. Um, so I'm going to rewrite this negative 11. Negative of a negative becomes positive 5. Negative of a negative becomes positive 20. Okay, and remember, I like to put the positives and the negatives like separate categories and then complete after that. So I have 25 over here um, minus 11 
uh, 25 minus 11 is 14. All right. Um, got to practice. Um, I got two more problems here at the bottom. So, distance. We want to find the distance between. Now, remember, distance is like absolute value. Uh, the distance is always going to be a positive number. Okay? Now, so remember, distance is always positive. Always. So find the distance between 2 and negative 6. So when I hear the word distance between, what I should be thinking is the numbers subtract them from one another. So 2 minus a negative 6. That's what it means. The distance between means subtract them from each other. So remember, if I get the negative negative, this is the same thing as 2 plus 6, which is 8. And it's already positive, but in case it was negative 8, we'd want to take another step and make sure it's positive 8. Um, determine the difference in elevation between Death Valley, California at 282 feet below and the summit of California, Mount Davidson, which is 928 feet above. So really, we should, we're looking at something like Death Valley down here at negative 282. Um, and then here's sea level. That's at zero. Um, and then Mount Davidson at positive 928 all the way up here. So we're finding to find the distance from here to here. Um, so the way we do that is, uh, so subtract, remember we're still finding distance, and that's positive, 928. Okay, so since they're the same sign, it's basically like I'm adding them together. So 8 plus 2 is 10, carry a 1, 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11, carry the 1, 9 plus 2 plus 1 is 12. So and I don't remember they're both negative technically so we say negative negative um, so this is negative but our actual answer because distance is always positive is going to be um, positive 1,210 feet um, and that is it for this episode of Dark Dragon Does Math may you uh, go out in the world and do some math Oh, now it's kind of lame because I have to pause.